Hi and welcome, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and I wanted to have a little bit of a play with Mountain Air and Power of Hope again because, yeah, I just wanted to. It's uh, a really nice stamp set and the other day I did a really pretty card using the lady with the mountains in the background and I thought it'd be nice to maybe try and do something a bit more with it and, and particularly with this pagoda and, and trees and things. So I'm just going to grab a couple of blocks. Now the unique thing about this stamp set is that you can use either side. So you've got the detailed trees and then you've got the um, just the kind of outline of the trees as it were that you can create um, just some background to it. Um, so I've got it stuck on so that I can use the background to start off with and then I'm going to flip it around and see Oops, sorry I'm just trying to find my channel so I can watch myself that sounds really uh, egotistical doesn't it <clears throat> no it's so that I can read your comments so this is a live broadcast at the moment and so if you're watching this uh, in a few hours after I've broadcast it you can still comment, you can still leave comments below, um, but obviously you can't take part in the live because it's in the past. So there we go. It's a bit weird. It's, a, it's very strange, this whole thing on YouTube. Right. So I've got soft sea foam here. And what I'm going to be doing is aiming sort of from this point upwards and then I'm going to repeat it from that other the other end. Now I think I probably will use my stamping mat for this because it's a photopolymer stamp set so it's worth just having that extra little bit of sponginess underneath. Um, start at that point there I think. I don't know, I'm making this all up, you know, you know me. Sometimes I just don't have a play. replay draws you in while listening and I start replying as though you're live that's fine it's it's actually really nice to, to read your comments sometimes I'll I'll get a notification it will just be hi Ruth and I'll be like someone's commented hi Ruth okay and then a few minutes later it'll be a reply to something I've asked <laughs> that's really cute Okay, right, that's the first lot down. So then you have to give your stamps a wee bit of a clean because you're going to peel that off, flip it over, just like that, and you can go again. So because last time I had my join at that point there, I'm going to try and disguise it, or disguise the effect of it by... Oh no, I didn't want to do that there. What am I doing? that higher up do that higher up and do this one about there there we go that's better this one about here hi carol lovely to see you Okay, now I want to go in with a little bit darker. So we go for a bit of pear pizzazz. And now this time I'm going to go stamping with the trees aimed at the bottom of the skyline there. I don't know what, let's, um, what am I doing, Linda? I don't know, what am I doing? I haven't a clue. Don't ask me. I'm just doing the stamping. You're watching. You'll figure it out as it comes along. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half the time, Linda. You should know that. Right, so I stamped and then stamped again a bit higher up. 
to create a bit another layer of trees. So I'm going to stamp and then stamp a bit higher up like that. Look, look, it works. I promise it does work. <coughs> I know you guys don't always trust me, but it's getting there. It's getting there. You know what I need is an app to read out your comments. I think actually you can get that. <gasps> yes, you can. A friend of mine who's blind has it. Because he was on Periscope. Well, I actually, I used to watch people on Periscope who were blind and they would have something in their ear that would read out their comments as people typed them because they couldn't read them. I should have that, shouldn't I? And then I won't have to keep looking up. I know this is so Bob Ross. I think we should just rename this stamp set the Mountain Air stamp set, the Bob Ross stamp set. <laughs> you always assume that I have a plan. No, assume nothing. Assume nothing. I've learnt that in life. Don't assume. Gets you if you assume it gets you to a horrible place that sometimes you cannot return from. Who's read the Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Jester? It's an amazing book. I totally recommend it. It's a children's book, but it's really helpful in terms of understanding how we our brains work sometimes. Stalactites and stalagmites. <laughs> the stump could be salaries, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew what you mean. Right, okay, you're really going to wonder what I'm doing now, okay? Watch, watch this, Deborah. Although I'm going to have to stick my this under here, otherwise I'm going to get ink all over my mat, which actually is already ink all over my mat. There we go. Look at that, Deborah. Are you impressed? I did plan that one. Oh, need more ink. Hi, Deborahna. I have to go from the mountain air class tonight. I'm not as good as Ruth. <laughs> oh, I, ha I gave it a go with the mountain air class tonight. Already, Susan? Oh, my goodness. You're amazing. Sorry, I completely misread your sentence then. I think when my brain gets tired, I get a bit. No offence to people who had actually have dyslexia, but my brain kind of sometimes goes into a dyslexic mode, or I get lazy reading and I skip words and then I misread them. Okay, I have a bit too many trees. Oh, it looks like um, reflections actually. Ish. What's that, what's that Diana? Uh, why is Misty in shock? What did Donny say? We're all in the same boat, yeah. Right, so the idea was that I did want to stamp this somewhere. But I'm not sure it's going to be right. I suppose it could be sort of like a little thing floating on the water. Well, what about the tree? Oh, the blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, surf. Yeah. See, I don't think I want to stamp the tree. I'm being really pedantic, but I've just done fir trees and this is a whole different type of tree. And I just don't think they go together. 
so I'm not going to do it but I might do that one oh and then we've just got to do some Bob Ross trees in the corners don't we It's what? Ruth, Ruth and Mystic. I like it. Like it, like it. <laughs> the detail on this tree, these trees are it's just so lovely. Ooh. Bob Ross. <laughs> There's somebody on YouTube, um, it came up on our feed, someone's done a video of themselves painting while listening to a Bob Ross tuition but without the, the picture. So he's literally just listening to the description, audio description, and he paints. I have not seen it yet, but I don't know if it came up because of the other Bob Ross videos we were watching. <laughs> you can't just mix a tree silly willy nilly. Exactly. Waterfront trees might work. Yeah. I don't know. Is it Brandon Front? I don't know. I um, I, I didn't really know the YouTuber. Well, to be honest, we do have that other tree there, don't we? So we can use that one. Yeah, I didn't catch his name. I just saw the Bob Ross bit. Oh, thank you, Carol. Do the same on the other side. Because remember, this is a one sheet wonder. We're going to be cutting this up. Oh, Donny, no, you can't purchase from me. Are you a demo or do you have a demonstrator you buy from? Oh, it might be him then, Deborah. Yeah, it might be him. So if you're watching this and it's the first time you've come to my videos and you're thinking, who is Ruth talking to? Please click the chat button and you'll see that there really was other people chatting to me. I'm not just talking to myself and making these names up, okay? <laughs> Linda, don't go blaming me now, okay? <laughs> Do you see that? Linda used my name in vain then. Uh, I use Seaside Spray. I don't think the pagoda matches the scenery. Oh, oh, Misty. Okay, I'll just do one. I'll do one and see what happens. Oh, I've got the little house from Snowfront. <laughs> cost me a yeah, Donny, honestly, if you're spend, you don't, you, you know, you don't have to be a demo like forever and ever, but it, it might be worth signing up for the really good deal currently and then maybe putting, you know, a, a couple of orders in or, or just putting one big order in. I don't know. It, you know, it, it's worth talking to your demonstrator about it and, and doing the sums. I guess it depends what your demo gives you for shopping with her like for my some of my local ladies it's it's more in their interest to place orders and get a free class from me whereas my on, online customers get other benefits right now have I ever shown you how to do the reflection technique because you can't just go can't do that. Uh, you get a bit of plastic. I think it'll work on this. You stamp your image on a bit of plastic and then you uff on it like that 
and then you line it up and then you rub Ta -da! did you see that did you see that guys misty are you happy with that is that better right now i would really i really want to color this roof in the roof the roof the roof F. i effed what linda you've never seen that before seriously you see, I really want to do a red roof, but I'll do a blue one for now, and then maybe I'll do a blue one next, a uh, red one next time. Right, so this is seaside spray, dark seaside spray. Oh, terracotta tile, yeah. Oh, no, I don't have that in an ink. I don't have it in a blender pen. I'm just going to, I'm just playing it safe for now. And then I think I will do another one. I will stamp it in... Oh, should I stamp it in Mary Malo or something quite dark? Now I'm meant to colour that bit in. See these images that are not very clear what they are. When it comes to colouring them in, it does get a little bit confusing as to what you're meant to be colouring in. Do you know what I mean? Is it is it just me? They don't always make it easy for the beginner, the beginner colourist, do they? It's almost a little bit too impressionistic. See, I'm presuming that's, that's not, you are meant to see through this bit. This is like a still, no, obviously these are stilts. And then that's just like a second roof. Yes, you can mirror imagery with your silica mat. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> it's not in front of me right now. Okay, let's go with the red one. Right. Let's clean this baby. Look, Linda, look what I'm using. Right. Bit of merry. Oh, that's not good. I'll be covering whole imaginary buildings. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I do that. I, I stamp an image and I start colouring and then go, oh, what have I done that for? I've coloured a leaf in pink or I've coloured a flower in green or, you know, because I've not taken the time to really look at it. But sometimes, um, it, it, until you actually colour it in and really study it, you don't know. So you just have to kind of go, oh, never mind. Uh, dumb question. I have silicon mat for cooking. Is it the same? Yeah, pretty much. But I probably wouldn't stamp on your cookie sheet. Oh, I love the red. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, guys, you guys who have stuck around with me, it was worth the wait, I think. <laughs> Okay, so you get your stamp, stamp it on your plastic. This is literally like a dimensional packet, this. And then you kind of decide where you want it to go. Line up, give it a rub. Hi, Susan. Uh, well, Ruthie managed to make it look like it belongs there. Yeah, I think so. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. All right, let's get some red. So I'll go with a bit of light real red to start off with. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Don't forget to like our video. 
Yes, if you could take a moment just to like the video and share with your friends. Um, add it to your playlists if you like this one. Um, what else? Follow me on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. And if you really, really like what you've seen or what you've, if you see, if you feel that I've given value to your day or your life, then, um, and you can't shop with me for whatever reason, I do have a PayPal donate button. And I, of course, you can super chat as well. But just to let you know, YouTube does take more off me than PayPal does. So if you're going to donate anything more than about, I don't know, four or five pounds, then it's worth PayPaling me rather than. Super chat because I just end up paying YouTube. Well, I don't pay YouTube, they take it off me at source. I love the red. Now, the only thing is, I think I probably do need to colour in a little bit down here. Mm, I don't want to overdo it though because this will be, it will end up being quite dark, won't it? Yes, we sell silica mats. Yeah, we do. It's a little... Oh, it, oh, oh, it was at arm's reach. It was right behind me. That's our silica mat. Yeah, and it does work. I'll, I'll show you. It does work. I'm not going to colour these ones, but I will show you the silica mat and then you can um, decide if you want to purchase one. Uh, where do you find your pa my PayPal? It's in the description below. Don't do it now. Don't do it just yet. Um, stick with me, Cheryl. Stick with me. Yeah, it's in the description, the video description. Okay, so you just stamp on your silicon mat. Yeah, I was wondering about doing. The, yeah, just doing the ink pad. It's slightly trickier to line up because it's not clear, but it's doable. Oh, actually, it's more doable when you get closer. But... Oh, it, I moved it slightly so it, it looks even more smudged, but that's quite nice. Right, I'm going to leave that there because I'd like to maybe do one more experiment. Oh, my goodness, the time! <laughs> Quarter to twelve. I think I might have to go. Although, mm, I did want to just do, I didn't want to do something else. i tell you what I would like to do is, now this is really going out of my comfort zone. Because these images are meant to be one way up, okay? And typically, I stamp One Sheet Wonders with lots of floor images. And if I am going to put an image in that only goes one way up, I only put it one way up and it always will stay one way up, even on the card. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to experiment. Sorry, I've got a blob. I could feel... It's honestly, it's like having um, you know that story about the pea, the match, the princess in the pea. It's like that with papers and grid paper. I can feel the smallest like thing. <laughs> um, yes, turn and I. Oh, it's only four forty-five at your house. I know. Well. If you, you guys have been so cool with your support, but I, I'm going to be making a concerted effort to try and get to New Orleans. So when I'm in New Orleans, I'll be in most of you, some of you's time zones. So if you, anyone's watching and you're considering shopping with me, I'd be really happy to have you as my customer. Because I have a little target to get to for, to achieve in my business. That will get me to New Orleans. So I'm going to be working my butt off doing, trying to 
wanted to do loads of videos on here and doing extra classes and um, extra parties to try and get to my target. I've been able to punch out a hundred daisies during these sessions. <laughs> Cindy, I, I, I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. <laughs> you need a plate and fine line of pencil to do oval kaleidoscope design. Um, Vanessa, I did do an oval one. You'll be just an hour behind me, so I wish I could help you get it. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Well, just literally sharing out my videos and just, I don't know, contacting anybody that's British <laughs> who you think might like my things. Right, as I said, I'm I'm a bit phobic of doing, especially like this, with people upside down. But I'm good. for you, I am going to do it. OK, so let's have a think. What could we do? Let's stamp. Ooh, let's do another one. And I don't really want them to over. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't. I don't like that. I've learnt my lesson. No, I'm going quite abstract with this one. This is going to be very much. You almost have to forget that she's a woman. If that makes sense. It because look, look what I'm doing. <gasps> Panic attack. She's upside, she's lying down. What? <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> it's not natural. It's not normal. We should not be doing this. <laughs> Turn her into lattice work, poor woman. Poor woman. Right, done that in the red. Oh, let's, let's, oh. What other colours do we go with? Oh, call me clover make up the points of a clock oh you guys i'm gonna die <laughs> looks really neat thank you misty you're too kind <laughs> okay let's just do some oh that needs re-inking people oh dear all right oh i just need to ink it up better Okay, I'm just going to enjoy the process. I'm filling the gap. Fill the gap, fill the gap. Fill the gaps. It'll be fine, Ruth. Breathe. Okay. She has those scary shoes. You can't see her feet. Is that what you're imagining? Just imagine the little animals under her skirt. Oh, I mean her feet. <laughs> Sorry, that was my Bob Ross impression. It's a bit of a, a obscure reference to Bob Ross. Okay, okay, okay. Now we need something a little, little bit more neutral and light in here now, I think. But, ooh, we do have the lanterns. And we do have the pagoda. Navy blue? Yes, let's just do it. This is all very graphic at the moment. It's a little bit too graphic for me. But I wonder if there's a way of kind of... Um, rusticking it up a little bit more after I've finished the stamping bit. Right, so let's fit the pagoda, pagoda in somewhere. You notice how though, I'm only ever, I'm stamping at like right angles, I'm not even I'm not doing the whole, oh, let's move it around business. Oh, <gasps> upside down. <laughs> Turn it around. 
Oh my goodness. Mm, I don't show up I like it. And where to place this? Oh, Linda, don't get, don't start. <laughs> Sentiment? What? <laughs> trust the process, trust the process. Right, I think we're going to get Cherry Cobbler in here. Come on, Cherry. For the lanterns. I'd like some nice red lanterns. Need some cherry blossom. <gasps> Ooh, that's an idea. Okay. Yellow, says Cheryl. Mm. Thanks, Navarana. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thinking some cherry blossom from uh, colourful seasons. Ooh, or this is a bit underrated this one because it's been out for a while. Now, I want to use crushed curry, but last night crushed curry was being a bit naughty. So I think I'm going to go with daffodil. Dots, I know, dots. Dots, splatters. This is like this. This is sort of like a splatter. I don't know if you can see this, guys. But look, look, that does work. My thumping splatter technique. Honestly, you'd think I'd, I was predictable, wouldn't you? They almost look like sunbursts, don't they? Without the so you can stamp this with the line drawing of the flower around it, but stamping it like this, it's just it kind of just becomes a texture, really. Not you, me. I'm very predictable, and I love the masking dots. Yeah. Th 
thought you were bonkers for just a for a New York minute. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. Okay, now I want to get a bit more. Yeah, oh, I see. I don't know whether to go in there with that with the navy blue. You know, would it be too dark? Orange. Oh, I'm gonna do orange. I'm gonna do orange. You can't stop me. Nobody stop me. It's happening. Now, Mango Medley is another one that I sometimes have issues with. Oh, no, it's, it's decided to work today. You know what I'm not doing very much of? Is second generation stamping with this. I did it and I only did it with the lanterns. I haven't really done it with anything else. Isn't that interesting? Oh, well who You'd love to send it to your friends, except the postage is dollars. Now I'm in a 70s kitchen. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very much so. Which isn't a bad thing. Oh, I did, yeah, I did stamp off with the lady, but I think because I use such a dark colour, it almost doesn't feel like I stamped her off. Oh, I thought I just did it then, and that was a bit of a boo-boo. Okay, I will use the navy again, but... Got a nice little leaf going on here. that could work. How can I package up 3D flower cards etc for sale? Depends how 3D they are Vanessa. Have you considered using the plastic boxes at Stampin' Up! Sell? Because those are quite large aren't they? I'm just trying to see if I can find one. You know stamping up sell these, don't you? And that's one and a half centimetres. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, eighths. That's one option. I'm not saying it's the only option, it's one option. I don't even sound tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to staying up late, I guess. Yeah, I'm surprised how much I like this too. But, you know, it just goes to show it's okay to... Get out of your comfort zone sometimes. I really, really wanted to put off doing this for a while because <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to have to stamp some people upside down and defy gravity. But it's okay. I've learned it's okay. No one was hurt in the process. It's actually quite fun to experiment with. 
would you would you be surprised it's fun to experiment with images and patterns that are not flowers that's what i've discovered tonight it doesn't matter if the lady's upside down or well, the buildings are upside down it's just it's just shapes to me <laughs> Sorry, Linda. I'm at both, Janet. My my studio is in my home. It's a room in my house. My husband and I have this a bit of a run, silly running joke about lost things and where they appear, because invariably. If he tells me he's lost something, I'm the one that finds it. And for ages he lost... Now, what did he lose? He lost his shaver because it was in a wash bag and he couldn't find a wash bag. Anyway, I found it. And I think I put it, I put it somewhere. And now my joke is that any time we lose something, we say, oh, it's with the shaving bag. And then what he tries to do is if he finds something that he lost, he makes out that he finds it in my craft room. So he even will sometimes like find the lost thing, come into my craft room and walk out of my craft room with it and go, oh, it was in your craft room. <laughs> yes, we have great fun. Oh, how we laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes I spot him trying to sneak into my craft room with the lost thing and I just like jump on him I'm just like no you can't go in my craft you can't do that no it wasn't in my craft room go away <laughs> you want to see me cut this up okay Yeah, my husband is a very funny man. Very, very funny. Although after being married 20 years, he does have to work harder to make me laugh. So he knows a joke is funny if I laugh now. And then sometimes I do this whole thing where I make out that I don't know, I don't get what he's on about. Like he'll, he'll say a joke and I'll just like stare at him, like trying desperately not to laugh. And he's like, no, you want to laugh, you know, you get it. And I'm like, no, I don't get it. What do you mean? <laughs> and then uh, he's like, yeah, I can see you're laughing. You want to laugh? <laughs> uh, anyway, there we go. Right. It was worth it, wasn't it? It was worth coming back. I blame the cat. Shame on me. What? For not laughing? Right, there we go. Hot mess that just looks fabulous. <laughs> okay, that's taught me a lesson that I don't have to always go for stamp sets that I like. Oh, I was going to put that on, wasn't I? Oh, I got distracted. I was going to put that on and then got distracted with that. And I'm still being distracted with this. So. Oh, teasing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he deserves it. He so deserves it. Because, you know, like, you know, he he does tell those typical dad jokes that are just, like, so, like, obvious and, like, puns. And he just goes on and on and on. So he has to work hard now for me. He can't just, you know, throw in a really easy joke. You know, he's got to work, work for it, you know. Work for the laugh. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. I 
No, shh. I should be in bed. Seven minutes past midnight. It's it's funny. The more I've gone on, it like the woman's almost become quite insignificant to it now, really. And doing a one sheet wonder like this is just proof that you can, you don't always have to have a focal point. You can, as long as you just do lots and lots of repeat pattern, um, you don't always have to kind of worry about placement and, you know, too much. But, 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 but remember that I did stick to the rule that I'd either stamp that way or that way. I didn't do any sort of angled stuff. It was... You know, it was either horizontal or vertical, horizontal or vertical, horizontal or vertical. The only change to that came when I added the florals. All right. So bear that in mind. I'm explaining these rules because I know some of you are going to go away and go, it didn't turn out right. It didn't work. You have to remember the rules. OK, and stick to them. And then break them. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Vanessa, I'll just hand it to Greg. <laughs> I'm doing Thursday's video now, yeah. Oh, you slept until lunchtime. Oh, you're still on America time, aren't you, Janice? Janice, you can do a live now and everyone can hop over and watch you. Do you want to do that? And then I'll watch it in the morning. It's quite tricky without what, Janice? Right, thank you very much for joining me this evening, guys. Um, you know what, I'm going to just very quickly cut this so that we get a bit of an idea of how this would look. He's asleep. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, right. You can't do one then. You could just do a quiet one, explain your holiday. Oh, thanks, Cindy. You guys are so gracious. Honestly, I'm so blessed to have some of the most gracious YouTube viewers, I think, on YouTube itself. Because um, there's various people that I follow and or I have seen and they talk about, oh, people are so nasty. They do such horrible comments and rah de rah de rah I have to be, I'm very grateful. I don't really have that on my channel. Not that I would put up with it. I'll just delete people, but um, I do have it's just some of the nicest, nicest people on here. Right, let's get a bit of balmy blue for this one. Oh, gosh, that gives me a headache doing that on there. <laughs> mm, now this is a bit of Poppy Parade. I know it's not quite the right red, but there we go. Yes, it'd make a nice bag. Cut it up and use just sections of it. Maybe tomorrow I'll come on and cut it up. But there we go, that's the, that's the cards. So I'm just trying to move everything off there so that I can whip this away. And you can see it on my wood grain there. There we go.
there was never a reason to be mean. Yeah, that's right. The pagoda ones that turned out pretty, yeah. <laughs> you really like the stamp now. You could... Oh, hello, Karen. Are you lurking? I've just seen you comment. You could use the dress to impress purse die cut. Oh, yes. Yeah. So anyone who's got the dress to impress... Yes, you could cut that out. Oh, that would make, make such a cool handbag. Hmm. I'll try and think how I could do it without the handbag die. If I cut it, if I cut there, and then scored there, Mm, I might have to study the picture of that die and figure out, figure that one out. Yeah, too late for China. Well, strictly this is Japanese. Who's Japanese that's watching? What do the Japanese, do the Japanese celebrate the new moon? They have a Japanese New Year. But I guess they have... I mean, these buildings are there all the whole time, so it's a bit like us putting, I don't know, Big Ben or something on it. It's just an, a national icon, isn't it? So it can be used for whatever. Oh, with gold foil. Oh, oh, Karen, you, you do it. Go for it, darling. Have you got the dyes? Yes, this is definitely more Jap This is da Japanese as opposed to Chinese. There are, you know, that there are differences. Um... There are differences, but there are also similarities. There are similar cultural things. There we go. Oh, now I've just thought. I'm, I'm just. I've got, I've got two devices at the moment. What would happen if I try to go live with my other device? Okay, so I'm filming on here and I'm watching on here, signed in as me. What would happen if I... Could I go live while I'm live? Shall I try it? <laughs> Alright, I'm just being a bit silly now. I'm just going to call this one experiment. And then I'll delete it. Experiment. I can't spell now. Done. Right, I'm just going to do, <laughs> I'm going to go live on this device and see what happens. I don't know if it's a bit of a risk, but there we go. Let's see what happens. What are you commenting? A live live. I can, says Karen. Oh, too much sake. You're punched. I'm tired. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Oh, that's nice, Janet. You could try it with the paper in front of you. It would be pretty. Thanks, Wendy. You take care. And, oh, if anyone's watching who did place an order with me in January, I'll be getting your thank you cards out to, um, tomorrow. I'm going to sit down and sort out all my paperwork for that. And the vou new voucher system will kick in. Um, I had one customer who I actually contacted and ordered what she wanted as her thank you. But everybody else, I'm going to be sending out my new voucher system. I printed them out the other day. I've got my new vouchers all printed out. And um, I've decided to use up um, Stampin' Up have these like postcard things that we can use. Oh, this is an old one. This is an old one, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick your vouchers. It's more than one. They'll just, I think I can probably fit four on here. And then when you send them back to me, you can just cut them up. I don't mind you cutting up an po old postcard. That's fine. So I'm going to do that. Right. Lovely to see you all. I'm just going to quickly go live on the other phone just to see what happens. Just what I want to do. It should just post another pic of me. Okay, go live. Streaming portrait. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm live twice on YouTube. Isn't that funny? So, hmm. 
Look, I'm filming. I'm currently filming. Ooh, there's my camera. It's here. There. Hmm. That's interesting. Look. Oh, look, that's weird. That's a view up to the camera. <laughs> I missed it. Hi, Gloria. <laughs> right. Goodbye, everybody.